Hello kids! You are now watching Re Learnings. I am Teacher Rina. I will be your partner in acquiring new knowledge. Are you ready for our lesson for today? Yes, teacher! Very good! So just sit back, relax, and enjoy our lesson for today. Hello kids! For today, we are going to have a new lesson. Are you excited to yes, learn? teacher! Very good! At the end of the lesson, the learners are expected to describe how a magnet can move objects and identify materials that can be moved by magnets. But before that, let us first have a game. Let's review our previous lesson. Using the puzzle pieces, guess the name of the picture and tell whether it can be moved by wind by doing thumbs up or thumbs down. Are you ready, children? Yes, teacher! First picture. Very good! It's a thumbs up because this is a curtain. Yay! Next! Very good! It's a thumbs down because this is a rock. Yay! How about this one? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Very good! It's a thumbs up! Yay! Next! Very good! It's a thumbs up because these are clothes. Guess the pick. I want you to guess the picture. Hmm, what do you think are these? Very good. You got it right. These are magnets. A magnet is a piece of material that attracts objects or metals which are made of iron, cobalt, and nickel. A bar magnet is a rectangular shaped magnet. Each end of a bar magnet is called pole. One pole is called north and the other is called salt. These are the two poles of magnet. This is the north pole, the red one, and this is the south pole, the blue one. The north pole of the magnet is usually painted red. The strength of a magnet is strongest at the poles. A bar magnet, when suspended freely, will align itself so that the north pole points towards the Earth's magnetic north pole. When the north and south poles of two bar magnets are brought close to each other, they attract or stick together. This is shown on the right side of our screen. Remember, opposite poles attract. On the other hand, when the north poles of two bar magnets are brought close to each other, they repel. 
the same thing will happen to two salt poles of two bar magnets that are brought close to each other. Thus, unlike poles attract and like poles repel. This is shown on our illustration at the right side. Take note of this. Unlike poles attract and like poles repel. What do we call the objects that are attracted to magnet? Hmm, can you guess? Very good. They are called magnetic objects. Examples of magnetic objects are nails, paper clips, coin, and scissors. Objects that are not attracted by magnet are called, what do you think? Very good. They are called non-magnetic objects. And examples of non-magnetic objects are candle, stuffed toy, brick, and pencil. Materials that are made of wood, cloth, and plastic are non-magnetic objects. Say yes if the object shown can be moved by magnet, and no if not. Nails. Very good. It's a yes. Paper clips. Very good. It's a yes. How about cotton balls? Very good. It's a no. Scissors. Very good. It's a yes. A brick, plastic brick. Very good. It's a no. How about a stuffed toy? Very good. It's a no. A coin. Very good. It's a yes. Key. Very good. It's a Yes! Kids, I want you to try this at home. Identify objects at home that can be moved by magnet. I want you to place an object on top of a folder while moving the magnet at the bottom. Look and discover whether it can be moved by the magnet or not. And that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope that you've learned something from our topic. Remember, when there is willingness to learn, you will acquire knowledge easier. Goodbye! Stay tuned for other videos!